knew that gal had a king. I'm so stupid, so stupid. <laughs> Ship it on home to daddy. <laughs> it's that time again. First day of the week, Monday afternoon. Headed down to Wichita. I have a feeling this week's gonna be great. Played super solid last week. Had a fairly decent session this last Sunday. As my last vlog said, I made something like 350. But aside from the numerical value, I felt like I played really well. I didn't get out of line much. A lot of hands that I would maybe go on some tear or some tangent with, I didn't. So I was happy about that. Also, got to do a plug for something. I always get asked, you know, how do I how do I do this hour and a half drive? Answer. The Joe Rogan Experience. Train by day, Joe yes. Rogan Podcast by night. Excellent podcast. If you haven't checked it out, I highly recommend it. He does all kinds of interesting people. I think you'll love it. Let's get it. Session over, and so far, a great start to the week. Plus 9.15 tonight. Started out to have the makings of being one of the best sessions I've ever played. I shipped a $2,000 pot. Cue the video. Before the video starts, I want to give a brief explanation as to what happened in the hand. So there's an under the gun raise to $10. There's four callers, and I'm in the small blind with Ace King of Spades, the Wolf. So I put in a $70 re-raise at this one-two game. The under the gun player calls the $70. The next guy behind him only has $71 left, so he puts his whole stack in the middle, and then the button calls. So we are four way to a flop of Ace, Seven, Eight with two diamonds and one club, so we have no back door, but we do flop top top. I got top top. Me too. Oh man. All right, I call. Player one call. I need We're diamond. Good. All right. Oh, oh, you said top top. I have top. top. I wouldn't have called you. I said top top. I would. I'm sorry. Is Jamie crossing the line with that talk? Darn right he is. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know. I thought you said we were chop chop. Oh, in a cough. No, said, I, I said top I said top. top. Oh. Main top pair, top kicker. Okay. So, I think it's pretty standard to put out a C bet. I bet $150. Under the gun player goes all in for $270. And now the button calls the 270. The button has another three or 400 behind. So it's back to me. I decide I'm gonna go with the hand, so I rip it all in and the button calls. The under the gun player has three, four. The player that was all in pre-flop has five, six. So he's open-ended and the button also has five, six. So he's open-ended. We just got a hold. Now cue the video. I gotta show my hand. You I'm called, right? Out. He I'm, called? Yeah. No, no, I haven't said anything yet. Oh. Oh. On the story oh, I, saw I thought you said you called the all in. Oh, 145. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. 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 We're all, everybody's all in, right? So what are we doing? Yeah. Let's, Let's draw. Yeah, just one time. One time? Sit, sit. Oh. Okay, yeah, one time. Bro. What do you Hell mean? Hell yeah, one I'm time. Live. This is, yeah, this thing. I'm live too. I can well, go, I yes, can go runner, runner. Okay. You're here and here. All right. This is you, you two are all of it. You're okay. in a great spot though. One time ship it to daddy! Oh. Mm. oh wow. That's it, that's it, you got it. That's gross. I lost. You got it. You got nice it. Nice hand, Dev. I lost. One time. Nice. The wolf! Nice. What is it again? That's that rack, daddy. Look at that, dude. Holy. So after that hand, I ended up making a fairly light call with top pair fourth kicker, but we still came out and had a solid victory. Last two sessions in a row, we've done well. Hopefully we can continue that trend this week. On to Tuesday. It's Tuesday. It's already 2.40. I'm actually not playing poker today because my wife texts me at 9 a.m. She's at work and 
something about her not getting a break so I have to run and get her lunch and I think she has to close so she's been there since 8 brutal so I'm staying in Pratt tonight maybe hop on the computer and do some editing not any poker hands today we'll see you on Wednesday welcome back to the Wednesday afternoon stack and rack crew I'm your host Devin Ganneman we're headed to Wichita, gonna grab some grub first. Think I'm gonna join Matt, and then after that, hit up the one two game and hopefully stack and rack. Let's go! So not only does he get fruit at IHOP, but he gets a chicken sandwich at Dempsey's. Unreal. I'm telling you guys right now, we had Dempsey's in Lawrence when I went to school at KU, but currently, the winner for the best burger in Wichita, according to me, is Dempsey's. Now I obviously haven't given everyone a try, but Dempsey's is currently at the top. Well that session sucked. Lost exactly one thousand dollars. No bueno. I even ran a bluff where I overbet the river on a <laughs> nine, 10, jack, queen, four, three diamond board, and I got called by queen five. So none of the bluffs work. Also, I wanted to address how it is possible to lose a thousand dollars in a one, two game. clarify that I did not just go on freaking blast and launch five buy-ins into midair. Five, four, three, two, one, two. My first buy-in was 400, my second buy-in was 600, and most of the time people had at minimum that on the table. To Thursday! Thursday night, not playing one, two, actually gonna go down to the star. They have splash pots on Thursday night from five to midnight. It's actually a pretty cool promotion because after every full house, as long as you play both cards, there is a $100 splash pot immediately the next hand at your table. So hopefully generates a lot of action and should be a lot of fun. Let's get them. I'm just gonna stand right here and I'm gonna spread my legs and I'm gonna let you kick me in my ball sack as hard as you want because that's exactly what just happened. Thought I'd maybe get a second helping. I lost a 900 like an absolute savage. I really don't think I played that bad. I probably did, but I don't think I did. Bad night, bad two nights. Rough month and a half so far. It's not uncommon. Last year, after playing full time, I had
guess we'll just start this year off with two on to Friday. No poker on Friday means it's my job to keep the baby turned. No. First ox sauce hand, I have ace five off. We are $500 effective, but here's the kicker. There is a $100 splash pot. This is at the star on that Super Bowl night. So there's a $100 splash pot. Every single person limps around to me. I'm in the cutoff with ace five off. It's only $3, there's a hundred out there. I don't wanna to get too crazy with this hand. Just hoping to flop big. Three dollars is cheap enough that I can see a flop. The flop. Ace, four, nine, total rainbow. The under the gun player leads out for 20 bucks and every single person folds around to me. I call the 20, the button calls the 20, and the small blind calls the 20. The turn is a glorious ace, but it brings in a backdoor heart draw. The small blind checks under the gun checks this time, I decide to put out a $45 bet. Maybe I shouldn't do this. I'm really not certain the correct way to play this hand now. I guess check all the way through. But what I did was I put out a $45 bet. The button calls the $45. And now the small blind moves all in for $250. It's on us. What are you guys doing? The button is still behind us and we were both $500 deep to start the hand. What are you guys doing when you turn trips with one of the worst kickers? Let me know in the comments down below. The answer will be in the description. For the second Ox Sauce hand of the week, we are playing 1-3 at the Kansas Star. There is a $20 under the gun open Another player calls and I'm on the button with Pocket Queens, the third best hand ever created. I go to 75. That may be a little bit small. I probably could have sized up a bit. The under the gun player calls and the player in between us goes all in for 80 something. That does not reopen the pot. So I just toss in the $5. And so does the under the gun player. The flop. Nine, seven, four. Under the gun checks, it's on us. I don't think there's any reason to bet huge. There is 240 out there, approximately. So I bet $100. The under the gun player calls. The turn is a six. I think it brought in a backdoor flush draw. Um, and the under the gun player checks. We were 700 effective to start this hand. So we both have 500 behind and there's 440 out there. How much are you guys betting on this turn? Are you guys checking on this turn? What's your game plan? I will give the results to both hands in the description above and let you know exactly what happened. Let me know what you think. Until next time. <coughs> so I normally upload on Mondays. I think I'm gonna switch that around in an attempt to try and get more subscribers and viewers. So I'm gonna upload on Fridays now as that's what the Google said is the best time to upload. Starting on Fridays, my videos will come out and the new week will begin on Saturday. On to Saturday! Please subscribe and like the video below.